Let me talk about these three big principles, kind of underlying assumptions behind this whole notion of putting coaches in schools as a way of improving student learning. There are three of them that I want to talk about. The first one is this notion of leadership and the role of leaders in a school system. Leaders have a responsibility of building capacity in individuals, in teams, and in organizations. In each of those three areas, so that we can both be leaders and learners. It's a fundamental assumption. Many coaches enter their position as a coach wanting not to share leadership. It will be among their deadly sins. Coaches who take the mission of being a coach as involving developing leadership in others will often have tremendous success in building strong relationships. When they refuse to let go of coaching, when they refuse to let go of leadership or expertise, they are in many cases riding a pretty rocky road for themselves. We want anyone who's in a leadership capacity, whether it's a coach, whether it's a teacher leader, whether it's a school principal, central office staff member, to see as his or her mission to develop leadership, to develop leaders, and to develop learners. I was having an interesting conversation with a colleague just two days ago, and she was talking about, she was asking me what I thought about um, what made some teachers resistant to having support and help? And, and I thought that was an interesting question, one I get asked frequently, one that often terrifies most coaches in their early experience. They're very worried about those resistant teachers. And I said, I think it might have something to do with whether or not a teacher or principal or central office staff member sees himself as a learner or not. People who are learners are open to continuous improvement. That's their mission. As a learner, we strive to get better. However, sometimes leaders do not see themselves as learners. They see themselves in the role of being something else. We've got to balance that. So this is a core fundamental assumption. Here's another one. It's the collaboration one. Do we hold this as our fundamental assumption? Do we share responsibility? Do you believe that it is the core responsibility of every educator in a school to be responsible for the success of every student in that school? Or do we see teachers or principals who hold themselves responsible only for a few students? We will never move to a collaborative culture if we are not sharing responsibility for the success of every student. And lastly is this notion, and this is the notion of expertise. Do we believe do you believe that the most complex problems that we face in education can be solved by putting together heads of people who work in that school? Or do you think you need to look outside for answers? We have a tendency in education to search for answers from outside of us. And I believe that if we tap the expertise of the people within schools, we will be able to solve the most challenging problems we face, because the expertise is there. We aren't using it. For me, these are fundamental assumptions that underlie the whole notion of having coaches in schools 
and building a system of support for coaches.